Hey, Mr. Lenz here. I want to provide a little resource for you on syncopation. You come across this in book two, and I want to give you a little how-to on uh, counting this tricky rhythm. So, you, this is what you're seeing in your lesson book with eighth note, quarter note, eighth note. And a good way to explain this rhythm would be starting here with four eighth notes. We all know how to count those four eighth notes by now. We say number and, number and for our counting our eighth notes. So this would be one and, two and. Simple enough, right? Well, if we were to make this a syncopated rhythm, what we would want to do is tie together these two middle notes. So they're like one note. Two eighth notes equal a quarter note. So <clears throat> beat two is kind of hidden in this uh, note right here because it's tied. So we will think to, but not say it. So this rhythm would be one and and. You can say it with me. One and and. And if you're tapping your foot, you're going to feel that the ands happen on the upbeat. Syncopation accents the upbeat. So again, it's one and and. Now, this rhythm is the exact same as this rhythm. Like I mentioned, two eighth notes added together equal one quarter note. So this is kind of the guts of what's happening inside of that quarter note. So this rhythm will be counted exactly the same as the one we were just talking about. This rhythm will be counted one and and. Go ahead and say it with me. One and and. Perhaps the tricky part about this is starting on the next beat after syncopated rhythm. So uh, let's just pretend that there's a, a quarter note or a half note following that rhythm. Then you would play one and and one, just being sure to hit the downbeat right away after that uh, eighth note on the and of the last beat there. So one and and one. Hopefully that helps with counting syncopation and uh, knowing how to tap your foot to negotiate the beat there. Um, when uh, coming across this in your lesson book.